Rachel, we are talking about solo masturbation, exploring your body. And today is about verbalizing what makes you feel good. Let's talk about why this challenge. Why are we telling people to get loud, get vocal? Oh, why aren't we? (laughs) (laughs) We're so because we don't learn enough about sex, especially sex for pleasure. And we don't learn how to communicate. The idea of communicating about something that we don't fully understand or grasp is really daunting because it's two things that we're not, we don't feel expert at. So the more you learn about sex, specifically sex for pleasure and sex for yourself and how you interact with sex, and the more you learn how to communicate, the more comfortable you will be communicating about sex, which means that your sex will get better and your communication will get better. It's a win-win situation all around. So when we are masturbating, it is a perfect opportunity to use the sensations that we're feeling in our body and describe those to our partner. So this toy is vibrating um, in a really rumbly way on and around my clitoris. And it feels incredible. I have goosebumps running down my back and everything in my body feels like it's on. And all of a sudden your partner's like, say say again. (laughs) And then you ask them and you get into this conversation about simply what is feeling good. You don't have to like dirty talk or like do any of that yet. It's just simply describing what you're feeling and what it's doing to your body. I think that you being an expert, you're able to articulate it so well, saying what makes you feel good. I personally have found this challenge challenging. I think being able to say out loud what makes you feel good and not feeling embarrassed, yep, shy, it's it's hard. That's why it's a part of the challenge. We exactly. want you to practice this in the comfort of your own room, four walls, door closed, where there isn't any kind of fear, judgment, shame. That's not a part of this challenge at all. Once you get comfortable exploring and trying these things by yourself, because only then can you start to talk to your partner about that, have that conversation. And then, yeah, you probably will get to really good, hot, dirty talk. It takes time to get there and practice. Absolutely. And one of the best ways to start is literally just describing what you're feeling, right? You don't have to like be creative and talk about sex all at the same time. Cause again, then it's like, we're juggling more than one thing. And so, especially if you haven't talked like this before, just describing like it's buzzing on my vulva. It feels good on the tip of my penis. Like start with something as simple as that. You don't have to get as uh, descriptive as I got. It could be anything as long as you are open and describing it. And if shame pops up, because like you said, Mitch, embarrassment does creep in and like shame creeps in. And when shame pops up, you're just going to kind of hit it like a -a whack-a-mole. Like, thank you so much, shame. Not right now. I'm good. Like (laughs) I'm trying to have some pleasure, more fun sex. Like Thanks. And then like, it'll pop up somewhere else, but like, just, you just kind of keep whacking and it'll go away. That feels right. So Rachel, I like what you're saying about just describing what feels good. I like using our C rings a lot. They go around kind of the penis and the balls and that me being able to say, oh, I like how the C ring makes kind of my balls feel tight and pulled on that has translated eventually into the bedroom with my husband and I yeah. and being able to have a fun conversation around kind of tugging and pulling and all that good stuff. And it's because you started by, I started taking your advice and just saying what makes you feel good. Yeah. It's simple and very powerful. So let's pretend that we have started this challenge we do like verbalize what makes us feel good. And we want to start to go into that dirty talk. Do you have any kind of tips and tricks or recommendations for how to get a little bit more salty? There are, there's a spectrum, right? And so like dirty talk to one person feels very beginner and 101. And then to another person feels like 
the dirtiest thing they've ever heard or said in their entire life. So one of the suggestions that I have is actually to listen to erotica or watch ethical porn that involves dirty talk. So we learn as humans most often by doing and seeing and experiencing. And so if we're alone or we're with someone else or a group of people who like all don't really know what to say, it's really hard. We like want to look to someone or something to have an example, right? It's why like a template for people works really well because we want to like just kind of plug in words. And so exposing yourself to erotica, I really like uh, Dipsy stories. They're great. Um, Or watching ethical porn on like a Balesa type website, you know, that has dirty talk in it. You hear and see how they're kind of integrating it and what they're saying. And that's a great place to start. And another one is like, what are you feeling and what do you want to feel or what do you want to do? So it feels so good when you put your blank near my blank or in my blank. Uh, I love it when you call me a blank. Can you do blank and call me blank daddy? You know, like whatever is, is your thing and whatever has been consented to. Um, But it's fun. And like, leave, leave your shame at the door. (laughs) I I love the template idea too we will for anyone that's watching this video we will make up a template for you and drop it to make sure that you have easy access in case you don't know where to start or what to say we'll help you along enjoy get loud have fun